On the 20th of March 2010, Rabatassim Nazal, a 16-year-old Palestinian boy, was arrested at his home in the West Bank. He was asleep at the time and woke up to see heavily armed Israeli soldiers in his bedroom, who tied his hands behind his back and beat him before he was taken to Ofer prison where he spent six months. He was given no explanation as to why he was arrested. And he's not the only Palestinian who has been detained without charge. Currently, over 237 others are being incarcerated under similar circumstances, and these include women and children. Israeli soldiers are given the power to detain an individual, including children as young as 12, without charge or trial for up to six months, if they have so-called reasonable grounds to presume that the public security require the detention. But it's often based on secret evidence, and this means neither the detainee nor their lawyers have access to the evidence against them. Tel Aviv's practice of jailing West Bank Palestinians inside Israel violates the Geneva Conventions. The United Nations Human Rights Committee criticised Israel's frequent and extensive use of administrative detention and called on Israel to refrain from using it and to complete as soon as possible a review of relevant legislation. Tel Aviv says that detention without charge is a necessary security measure that can be used to avoid exposing confidential information in trials. But human rights group Amnesty International says Israel is abusing its power and that the policy is mainly used against individuals who aren't engaged in any sort of violent activities and pose no threat to the public. Arafat Jaradat is one of the latest cases to highlight the issue of Palestinians in Israeli prisons. He died only days after being detained. According to prison medics, he suffered from a cardiac arrest. However, his family says his body bears the markings of systematic abuse. And early this year, a UN report said that 700 Palestinian children, aged between 12 and 17, were subjected to physical torture while under detention. Many will now be hoping that this high-profile case will draw international attention on the plight of Palestinian prisoners in Israeli prisons. Shazar Chowdhury, reporting for Levant TV News, London.